Zoax.net, Lesson 11, Global Attributes. We have seen that some elements have attributes, which are usually given as name value pairs. Most attributes are specific to the element type, like the source attribute for the image element that is used to specify the location of the image data. However, some attributes can be used for any element. For that reason, they are called global attributes. This example document contains four global attributes, ID, class, style, and title. The ID and class attributes are used to select a single element or a set of elements respectively. The style is used to change the appearance of an element, and the title is used to create a tooltip for an element. This document contains an ordered list. The first and sixth elements have IDs that are set to start and to end. They also have links set to each other. The odd elements all have their class set to odd. The second element has its background color set to gray via the style attribute. Finally, the fourth element is an image with enunciation set as its title. Notice that the seventh element is also the same image without a title. This image is used to demonstrate the links, as we will see. Opening the document, we see this. Notice that the second element has a gray background, which is set via the style attribute. Styling is a large area in itself, and this is just a simple example. Now if we hover our cursor over the image that we put the title on, we see the title as a tooltip. Also, the first and sixth elements are links that are set to each other. So if we click the first one, we go to the second link. If we click the second link, we go back. The ID attribute can be used like this. It can also be used to select a single element for other purposes like styling. Recall that we set the class of the odd elements to the class value odd. Since they are all of the same class, we can use that class to style all of those elements together. For example, we can put a red border around them with styling like this, but we will leave the actual styling to our CSS lessons. In the second HTML example, we will demonstrate four more global attributes, access key, tab index, draggable, and content editable. These attributes are more useful for programming, so I will just give a quick demonstration here. The access key attribute here allows us to select this element with the Alt plus X keys. Furthermore, all of the elements have a tab index attribute. The values determine the order that we step through them when pressing the tab key. The draggable attribute set on this fourth element allows us to drag it with the mouse. Finally, the content editable attribute here allows us to edit the content in the fifth element. Opening the document, we see this. Pressing Alt plus X selects the second element like this. Hitting Tab selects the rest of the elements in the order of the indices like this. Clicking the fourth element allows us to drag it like this. And clicking the fifth element and typing allows us to edit it like this. In our last example, we will demonstrate the remaining global attributes, hidden, data, dir, lang, spell check, and translate. These are more specialized attributes, so I will just cover them quickly. If you do not understand them, do not worry about it. I put a hidden attribute on the first element, which just means that it will not show up in the document. The data element allows us to store extra data in an element. It will not show up, and the asterisk means that we can put in anything we want after the dash, as we show here. The dir element specifies the direction of the text. English is read from left to right, but some other languages are read right to left. I set this third element as RTL to show what it does. The lang attribute is used to signal what the language is. Since this document is in English, I specified that on the HTML element. However, the fifth element is Latin, as this indicates. The spell check element on the fourth element marks spelling errors, as we will see. Finally, the translate attribute tells document readers which element should and should not be translated. Opening the document, we see this. Notice that the hidden element is hidden. 
the data is ignored, so there is nothing to see concerning the data. The dir attribute has moved the text from the right side and put the period on the left. The lang attribute does nothing visible. The spell check underlines the misspellings if we click it. Finally, we note that translate is used by interpreters and does nothing visible. To recapitulate, we have the following global attributes. Access key, class, content editable, data, dir, draggable, hidden, id, lang, spell check, style, tab index, title, and translate.